Examining the rural-urban divide reveals a stark contrast in fertility rates, with rural women typically bearing more children than their urban counterparts. This disparity underscores the influence of environmental and socioeconomic factors on reproductive behaviors. Furthermore, regional variations highlight the nuanced complexities within Ghana's fertility landscape, with the northeast region exhibiting notably higher total fertility rates compared to the relatively lower rates in the Greater Accra region. And we focus on the women because when you carry a baby for nine months, you hardly forget that you were once pregnant. So to talk about seasonality, we used three years to give us a rough estimate. And so on that, we are able to say that in Ghana, women within the age group 15 to 49 years, before they complete their reproductive life, we have given birth to 3.9 children or almost four children. The correlation between fertility and wealth distribution sheds light on socioeconomic disparities shaping reproductive choices. Women from the lowest wealth quintile tend to have significantly higher fertility rates compared to those from the highest quintile. This discrepancy underscores the intricate interplay between economic status, access to reproductive care and family planning services. Women who have no education have almost about five children, whilst those who have education, barely 2.5 children. And so education plays a role. And we know that in urban areas and rural areas, educational facilities are not equally distributed. Women in rural areas initiate birth at age 21, whilst urban areas is 23, two years difference. And so living and then the culture may be what prevails there. If you see your colleagues giving birth, you also be like them. When you're in an environment where you see everybody going to school, no people are not giving birth, you also adapt to that style. So there might be plausible reasons that will come into play in that area. Ghana's total fertility rate offers valuable insights into demographic trends, public health initiatives, and socioeconomic development strategies. As Ghana navigates its demographic transition, addressing disparities in fertility rates across regions and socioeconomic strata remains crucial for fostering inclusive and sustainable development. Imano Somani, TV3 News.